How's it going guys? It's Lorenzo coming at you with another video. In this video, we will be discussing how to fix headphone and speaker sound issues on your DDJ FLX4 using a DDJ800. Keep in mind in this demo, we will be using a DDJ800, again, not an FLX4. However, the adjustments I do on this controller will be applicable on the FLX4 since all the knobs, buttons, and faders that are on the FLX4 are on the DDJ800 as well. I also want to make it clear that a lot of these troubleshooting tips can also be applied, I think, I'm not 100% certain, but I think it should be applicable to the DDJ400 as well. So if you have the precursor to the FLX4, you have the DDJ400, you can maybe follow along these steps and instructions and maybe you will be able to troubleshoot your controller and your laptop uh, so that sound can be uh, produced from your headphones and your speakers. So the most important pages in your FLX4 instruction manual for sound specific issues are audio setup at page 49, connections at page 36 to 37, and troubleshooting and sound at 150 and 152 respectively. Again, these pages are in your FLX4 instruction manual, user manual. Now, if you don't have this instruction manual, I'll put the link to the PDF down below in the video description or the website from Pioneer DJ themselves. Let's get started with the outline of this video. So. There's gonna be three parts of this video. Audio setup, which I've already covered in a previous video, but I'll go over it very quickly in this video. Connections, which is gonna be take a little bit more time, and then it's gonna be uh, the controller itself, which is gonna take a little bit more time as well. So there's gonna be timestamps, channel markers, for specific parts in this tutorial, so you can jump ahead to your specific uh, section that you need help with. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with audio setup, guys. Pause the video for audio setup on Mac and Windows, guys. I have already covered this topic before, as I mentioned before, but this is specifically for the FLX4 user. This might work for DDJ400, just test it out. If it doesn't, contact Pioneer DJ. Now let's move on to connections, guys. Number one, guys, as a rule of thumb, always make sure that you are using headphones with at least 32 ohms of impedance. Arguably, you should have headphones with 32 ohms of impedance. Most manufacturers already have 32 ohms by default, as this is the current impedance standard for connecting to computers and smartphones, but always make sure this is the case with your specific headphones, at least 32 ohms in imp of impedance, guys. Number two, guys, since the FLX4 is USB powered, you should always make sure that this controller is the only external audio device plugged into your laptop. Other USB or DC powered, meaning that their wall outlet powered devices like audio interfaces or mixers might mess up the sound output and or your audio routing. According to the FLX4 manual, quote, if the power supply of the FLX4 is insufficient, the unit limits the volume of the headphones. In other words, the USB cable that provides the power to your controller, the unit, meaning the controller, is limiting the amount of volume of the headphones. So if you're having headphone issues with not enough, you have 32 ohms of impedance on your headphones, that's checked off, that, you know, they have a check mark on that, but you're having volume issues with the headphones because you have all these other audio devices connected to your computer. Number three, guys, there are three cable connections you should know about. RCA, 3.5 millimeter, and 1 4 inch jack inputs and outputs. I'll put a picture of the inputs at least. The outputs match what the inputs look like, okay? Just keep that in mind, guys. It's pretty self-explanatory. Number four, guys, use the RCA outputs on the back of your controller to connect to your speakers. So use the ones that are behind your controller should be around this area of your controller. Depending on your speaker inputs, you may need RCA to RCA, RCA to 3.5 millimeter, which is the RCA to the standard headphone jack or RCA to 1 4th jack input cables. When you go to bigger PA systems, bigger speaker systems, in other words, you are gonna have to move up to RCA or 1 4th inch jack input. I recommend that you get two cables that are at least 10 feet in length to connect to your specific speaker system. And don't plug in your speakers directly to your computer, either your 3.5 millimeter jack or your USB ports. Don't do that. Again, because you don't want to have uh, audio output issues and power supply issues. Again, use RCA outputs that are in the back of your controller to connect to your speaker system. Number five, guys, use the headphone jack located in the front of your controller. The reason why is because you're not going to be able to cue you're not going to be able to beat match. You're not going to be able to mix, you know, cue tracks uh, from your computer itself. You're going to have to do that on the controller itself to actually hear what you're beat matching or mixing, whatever. Okay. Scratching, whatever. Okay. Number six, guys, don't use a mono jack. This can be applicable to both 3.5 millimeter or one fourth inch male jacks. It only has one band. A stereo jack has at least two bands. Number seven, if all else fails, try using a different USB port to connect to your FLX4. 
maybe that specific port is faulty. Okay guys, so on your controller, this is the controller section of the video, do this in order. Number one guys, turn the trim knob to the 11 or 12 o'clock position. So let's zoom in real quick. It's already set to the 11 o'clock position, but this is the 12 o'clock position. Okay, dead in the middle, dead in the center. Let's turn it back to 11. The reason why I prefer 11 guys is because we don't want the master channel or channel one and channel two, deck one and deck two to, um, to clip, okay? We don't want the red line, we, we, we don't want the red uh, peaks, we don't want it to peak or clip, right? The reason why is because of distortion, it's also because of health, okay? Your ears. I would assume you don't want to go deaf, guys. So number two, slide the channel fader all the way up. So let's go let's zoom out. These are the channel faders, okay? Number one and number two. Deck one, deck two, need to be all the way up. Okay, so this is the cross fader. Slide it to the middle so we can hear deck one and deck two. If it's over here, we're only gonna be hearing deck two because it's it's slided all the way over here. This is muted, okay? Even if these, the, the, the channel faders are up. So this is up. This is gonna be, this is gonna be all the way over here. Um, it's, there's not, there's not gonna be any sound produced by channel one. Turn the master knob to the two o'clock position. Okay, it's 12 o'clock right now, that's fine. But sometimes you wanna have it at the two o'clock position, that's fine too. Sorry about that, I just bumped the camera. Um, so the two o'clock position is fine as well. So again, you don't want to clip the master channel either because our ears and of distortion. So watch out for that, depending on your PA system, Two o'clock might be the max volume you, you need. You wouldn't need to go higher, in other words. That might be the loudest that you need to go. Test what works out, but don't clip your master channel or your channel one and channel two. So number five, guys, turn the headphone mix knob to the 12 o'clock position, okay? So dead in the, in the center, in other words. Now, number six is gonna be turn on the Q, master Q button, and then also turn the level or volume knob to the eight to nine o'clock position for the headphones, okay? So this one is the eight to nine o'clock position for the headphones, okay? Check the connections of your speakers and headphones. If nothing else, you know, if all else fails, uh, you know, write a support ticket to Pioneer DJ themselves, guys. Their support ticket will be in the description below as well. So that's all, guys. If you are still having trouble, remember to plug in your controller to your computer before you start up Rekordbox or Serato. There will be three sources in the video description, all of which can be found in the Pioneer DJ website. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace. Bye, have a great time.